Good morning. Welcome to this edition of Talk Training Web Series. Last week uh, we had discussed about you know SharePoint site columns, and uh, today is the part two video on how to work on the content types, right? So we'll take a look at the con at uh, we'll okay. So we'll take a look at creating a custom content type. So the first thing what you need to do is go to settings, the gear button. Click on site settings. And then let's go to site content types. All right, so now the next thing what you need to do is you need to create a site content type. All right, so there are two key things to consider here. Okay, so there are two key things to consider here when we are creating a content type. The first is that all content types are based on another content type or you could think of it as all content types inherit from another content type the second is a content type that either work with lists or it will work with libraries whether it works with list or libraries it depends on the type you inherit from for example if you want to create a custom contacts list we would go to the list content types and then find contact and we would create the content type, add things we need that were not part of the contact or remove things that were part of the contact that we do not want. So one strategy you can use while creating content types is to find a content type that's already, is already available and has most of the things that you need, inherit from it and then customize it. Or what you can do is you can start with a base content type and then you can just build on top of it. Now in case of lists, that is the item content type and for libraries you want to inherit from documents so we'll go to document content types right so our content type is going to be for document libraries related to courses like last time what we did so that is what we need in terms of inheritance so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call this at course document version right and then let's create a new group SharePoint rookies yeah let's turn it to document content types right and then I select parent content type as document. I'm just gonna hit okay. Here you go. So you can see in the following, you know, the following screen that a couple of fields already exist from the document content type file name. So you can see in the following screen that a couple of fields already exist from the document content type. That is the file name and the title. We'll add a course field to this. And now here you, you cannot just add a column to the co content type because the co column has to be a side column. Hence, we are going to add from existing side columns and then apply filter on the share. SharePoint rookie group, right? So let's go ahead and select the course column. Add from existing site columns, right? I'm gonna search for course, right? Add them and then yeah, update all the content types inheriting from this type, yes. I'm gonna hit the OK button. Here you go, so I have courses added over here automatically. So 
So in this case, this is all the customization we want to do to our content type. So now we are ready to use it, right? So what's the next thing? Now let's go ahead and create a new document library. So I'm gonna click on site settings. Okay, let's go add an app, right? Let's go ahead and create a document library. I'm just calling it doc folder, create. And let's see here, there's a doc folder. I'm gonna click on settings. Let's see what we got. So manage types, go to the advanced settings. Let's go to the advanced settings. And what you need to do is allow management of content types, right? So hit on the yes button and then select okay. Now you can see this library is currently associated with the document content type. So we need to add our course content type by just clicking from add from existing site content types. Here you go. Let's look for SharePoint rookie. Okay, check course document versions, right? It's gonna add it. Right, I'm just gonna click on okay. All right, so now our library is associated with two content types, the document content type and course document versions are basically so this is how we have configured now now what you need to do is let's go to a doc folder the one which you created right now and let's hit on new document right so when you click on the new document or the drop down arrow you can see that we have can create a document of either type now if you only want people to be able to create course documents, then you can go back to the library settings, remove the document content type association by cl clicking on the document in the content type section. So that's it. So this is how you create. So I've just actually created a new course document version. So that's it for today's video. So I hope you under, uh, have, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. I hope the, the content type feature that I've demonstrated, I hope the content type feature that I've demonstrated has given you of information and probably you can apply it within your SharePoint instance. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.